In this video I will tell you about the project structure. We will use the Live Demo project uh, which is available on our website. Let's open the project in the administrator application. You can see that the project includes three main parts the configuration database, views and instances. The configuration database is a part of the project configuration consisting of tables and it is common to all project instances. There are two group of tables, primary tables and secondary tables. During the project configuration mostly you will edit the primary tables. An object is a specific location or a logical category to which measured data is associated. A communication line includes devices that are polled one after the other or through the same port. Our project includes only one simulator line. A device most often corresponds to a physical controller or metering device. Sometimes a device can be used to group data logically. For example, there is a simulator device that corresponds to a virtual controller and the set point device that is used to group set points. A channel is an important entity in rapid scatter. A channel has a number and name and a channel is associated with current and historical data and events. You can view and edit channel properties using the table and using this special channel properties form. The limits table contains channel limits. A limit can be used by a single channel or by several channels. In the second case you should check this shared checkbox. Um, Limit values can be fixed or can be values of other channels. If you tick bound to channel checkbox, channel value will be taken, a limit value will be taken from the channel value. The views tables should specify a list of views. A view is a part of web interface. You can see the same structure in the Views Explorer. The roles table contains standard and custom roles. We added the demo role in this project. The role inheritance feature is used in a big projects when you need to join several roles into one uh, bigger role. The object rights table contains relations between objects and roles. You can specify which roles have access to, a to an object and you can set what type of access they have view, access or control. There is the users table. Um, we added the username demo. The table doesn't contain passwords themselves. It contains hash codes. In this case, if you change user ID, you need to set the password again. It is useful to check all secondary tables to understand how the system works. Types of archives, the list of archives, possible channel statuses. Currently only main core are supported, is supported.
severity is a property of events related to channel status channel types this is an important property of a channel its type and you can set channel type carefully because it affects how channel is processed and calculated data types of channels device type types is a list of drivers in rapid scanner the formats table is useful when you need to add your own format for example if you want to create a new enumeration to specify your custom values quantities are physical quantities you can easily add your own quantity if, if you cannot find the required quantity in the list the scripts table contains built-in and custom scripts scripts are the formulas that can be used in channels to calculate their values there is a custom script added to this leaf demo project units for channels it's also useful when you need to add your own unit and supported view types um, main view types are table and scheme which is mimic diagram and other view types are more specific and supported by plugins the next section is views it's just a folder and file structure if you open them in the explorer you can find the same if you double click a view an editor will be opened according to the view type scheme editor or table editor an instance is a set of rapid scatter applications running the same project and installed on the same computer an instance can include all applications or only one or two applications there are the application settings it's important to use the same TCP port and secret key for the server and all client applications such as communicator and web station the model list you can open properties or just read a description archives processed by the server application they are duplicated here and in the archives table logs files are read from the cloud server which runs the project the configuration files folder in any application contain contains the files that actually store the settings you change using the interface communicator drivers list can be useful to check uh, driver features and supported common commands command line parameters data sources uh, the communicator can interact with other applications uh, most of all SCADA server and also it can work as OPC server you can add your own data sources and they will, will be work in parallel there is only one communication line in the project for for simulation when you configure a device pollen it's important to check communication line lock and 
you can find the detailed information there. The device data page contains data, channels bound to device tags, commands. A tag is a term of communicator configuration and a tag is a value measured by a connected device and processed by communicator. General application log files. WebStation options, culture specific only for the web application. Time zone is useful because it can be different than the server time zone. Connection, login options, display options, and plugin assignment. We use Chart Pro for displaying charts. Plugin list. In the web application, usually we configure plugins via editing XML files, like that. And log files of the web application. Now you know more about RapidScatter projects. Thank you.